It is already the second wettest March on record, and we have flood watches and warnings in effect across eastern Washington and north Idaho. Good evening. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Nadine Woodward. Brittany Paris is along the Spokane River tonight. We're keeping the water clean is now a top priority. Just days into this year's construction season, work is well underway on millions of dollars of new projects across Spokane. The bulk of our work this year will be about making the river a cleaner and safer Spokane River. The city is investing $75 million to help manage overflows and prevent pollution from reaching the Spokane River. This year we're building five tanks that will be at least one and a half million gallons. So we're adding more than 10 million gallons of storage through these um, projects that we're starting this year. Last month, work started on the biggest tank, a 2.4 million gallon one at First and Adams. Crews broke ground on the second biggest project on Monday, a 2.2 million gallon tank on Spokane Falls Boulevard. And later this summer, this empty lot at Riverside and Lee will house another massive tank. They're absolutely critical. So what we're doing really is capturing that wastewater, holding it until the storm surge goes down and we can send it to our plant for treatment. Our recent wet weather has really put these tanks to the test. What we're seeing is really good performance out of the tanks we've already put in place. There has been some overflow, but only in spots where the city hasn't put in a tank yet. All of this work is being paid for by people who live in the city. You contribute when you pay for wastewater services on your utility bill. But if a healthy, swimmable river is one of the reasons you live in the Spokane area, city officials think it's money well spent. The river is our greatest environmental asset. It's a beautiful economic driver. Um, we have to take care of that river for future generations. So that's what we're doing. And again, that was Brittany Paris reporting.